Here's some concerns about releasing GM mosquitoes. There are several glaring problems with assuming these GM bugs are safe for human population. For starters, the potential exists for these genes which hop from one place to another to infect human blood by finding entry through skin lesions or inhaled dust. Such transmissions could potentially wreak havoc within the human genome by creating insertion mutations and other unpredictable types of DNA damage. Mosquitoes can develop resistance to the lethal gene and might then be released inadvertently. 3.5% of the insects in laboratories tests survive to adulthood despite presumably carrying the lethal gene. Tetracycline and other antibiotics are now showing up in the environment in soil and surface of water samples. These GM mosquitoes were designed to die in the absence of tetracycline which is introduced in the lab in order to keep them alive long enough to breed. And they've been finding out that the tetracycline is in a lot of cat feed. So imagine lady with her cats out in the backyard and she puts her cat feed back there. That the mosquitoes that are going to be eating that food are going to be resistant to the kill switch. The tetracycline will help those breed to about 15%. And then they've already also stated that this company they release over 900 females with the males but they can't get rid of all the females these mosquitoes the GM mosquitoes the synthetic mosquito DNA includes fragments of genes from coral reefs cabbage as well as protein fragments from the herpes simplex virus and E. coli bacteria Now this mosquito control district wants to become the first in the U.S. to try something new. Genetically modified mosquitoes. Strains of the insects was developed more than a decade ago by a British company called Oxitec. Which some people think have connections to Bill Gates. Experiments already conducted in Malaysia and Brazil. Heart of the Zika outbreak is where these Oxitec mosquitoes have been released. They also released these mosquitoes in the Cayman Islands. And they're waiting for final approval through the U.S. Food and Drug Administration, which from 180 days, we're approaching where they want to release these mosquitoes into the Florida Keys in the spring. So we're probably only about a month or two away from that. It looks like they're trying to fast track the process. Our biggest fear is that it hasn't been thoroughly studied for public health. They're claiming all the success in Brazil of 90%. But now we're having all these Zika cases, 4,000 babies born with Zika virus, small heads. They're telling ladies in Brazil not even to get pregnant. So that's some serious population control right there. And I was just thinking about those babies in the womb and the mosquitoes that die off do the mosquitoes get small heads too and that's why they die Oxitec admits some females could slip through in the release process and potentially bite people but they say it wouldn't be any different than getting bitten by a wild mosquito the FDA has not indicated when it will complete its review. They had 180 days to respond. And we are approaching that in the thawing of spring. So the company has built a breeding lab in Marathon, Florida. The FDA Center for Veterinary Medicine is currently reviewing information in an investigational new animal drug, the INAD file from Oxitec. As part of the review, the FDA will publish for public comment a draft environmental assessment submitted by Oxitec. It assesses the potential environmental impacts of conducting a field trial in Key Haven, Florida. Due to confidential concerns, the FDA ordinarily cannot acknowledge or discuss INAD files. Oxitec has produced a genetically engineered line of mosquitoes, the Aedes aegypti with the intent of suppressing the population of the mosquito at the release sites. 
the OX5138 genetically engineered mosquito has been approved for use in Brazil in open field trials and these mosquitoes have been conducted in Brazil, the Cayman Islands, Panama and Malaysia. Well if these mosquitoes were so successful how come Zika has spread so much in this past year after these trials and now they're saying they want to bring even more? Something's not adding up. This is the major petition that's been going on to stop these genetically modified mosquitoes from entering the Florida Keys. And they're about 39,000 signatures short. They have 160,000 now. So just remember that these mosquitoes, it's the same company that released the epicenter in Brazil. These mutant mosquitoes could be released at any point against the wishes of locals in the scientific community. We need to make sure the FDA does not approve Oxitex patent in the USA 